Um, it has to be something else. I know a lot of people say money. All right, there's, there's, there's some money that's necessary, I suppose, you know. What does it take to actually put the facilities with the money, with the providers of these various training efforts? What would it take? And that's something that is really lost in the literature, by the way. David? I think something that's lost a lot amongst, you know, people coming out of high school and things like that is the motivation to better themselves. And therefore, if you're motivated, then you will go out and, you know, make these improvements and things mm -hmm. like that. There, a lot of motivation is lost for advancement in, in our, because previous generations that grew up in this area, you were going to go to work in the mills. Mm -hmm. and your, your life was set for you. So there was no motivation to go beyond high school and to better educate yourself because you're just going to go into the mills. Okay. I mean, there, there needs to be a form of motivation, I think, that starts in the high school level and then advances you through the you know, like college to get those trainings that you need to improve yourself and your cluster. Okay, so what that would be uh, effectively would be the, uh, uh, I guess, a supply side solution. People have to kind of motivate themselves in order to, to get trained in order for a firm to demand them. Okay, so motivation. All right, how do we motivate them then? How do we motivate a junior in high school to seek additional training? You guys were closer to high school age than I, are, than I, than I have been for many years, right? So I'm trying to figure out what, what's, what's the culture in high school now? Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, what do they tell you to do? What, what, what's, what's your motivation in high school? What, do you, what, do you, what are they trying to get you to do? Well, my motivation was a dad running behind me with a stick. What's, what's that? My motivation was my dad running behind me with a stick. But oh, parents. No, okay, par parents should be a motivator. Yeah. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, they should be, right? But, but parents don't money. always do the job. It's mostly money. I mean, nowadays, and, you know, when I graduated high school, we had a chart of the top 50 jobs that were needed, and then next one was you'll make this much money a year. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh wow, I should listen to that. Yeah. So I mean, the money is the biggest motivator so yeah. that, that I that I saw coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. But then, even if you do have the motivation, the finances to go continue your education is another is a whole okay. other thing. That even if you are motivated and you come out of there, but then you don't have the money to go to school, mm -hmm. all your motivation is lost. And Stuck working at McDonald's or something. Okay. That's not bad, by the way. Just getting stuck working at McDonald's. No, I'll I, tell I, you I'm why in a second that. here. <laughs> Stephanie. Uh, well, I was thinking about the motivation part and why money will why not provide scholarships mm -hmm. for those locations in order to better themselves. You know, look at jobs that actually require you know, <coughs> masters or bachelors or whatever. Mm -hmm. and say, well, this is the, if this is the job you want, well, we're going to provide part of the means mm -hmm. in order for you to get there. Okay, who is going to provide part of the means? I think the colleges. Um, the colleges? Mm -hmm. so then, we, um, we can award scholarships to yes. bright students, mm -hmm. motivated students. Somehow they have to demonstrate the motivation. Uh, but they're not really going to a, tr a traditional college. Maybe they don't need a bachelor's degree, like you right. said. Uh, to work in the various, to work in the, in the packaging business, do you need a bachelor's degree? Do you think? Not necessarily, not to work on, in, 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 you know, in production. Well, you have to read blueprints to be able to... Uh, but there are skills. Very sophisticated skills. Absolutely, there are skills. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to have a degree. You don't have to sit there for 120 semester up. hours or something. And set the machines up. But you have to know how to set up. In setting up the machines, you have to be able to read the directions. Okay? You have to be able to do a little arithmetic and maybe do a little basic geometry. Okay? Do they teach that in high school? Yeah. In geometry class and in arithmetic class or math class, right? Now I have, I'm sorry to say, I have in many of my classes the product of the high schools in terms of math skills, okay? And they are very wanting, uh, quite frankly. They just are. Uh, I get students right out of high school that still can't do sixth grade math. Uh, in my opinion, it should be sixth grade math, and they've had four years of math in high school, right? So there is also uh, a, a performance uh, level in high school that we need to work on as well. And I agree with you, Stephanie. I think that, that the colleges can really uh, take the lead of, on this, possibly. Uh, and, and we're starting to see this around the country, where some colleges are offering, instead of degrees, they are offering certificate programs. They're offering certificates in drafting, let's say. 
Uh, because if you hire somebody who knows uh, AutoCAD, uh, you don't necessarily have to hire them as an AutoCAD operator, but I bet you they could set up that, uh, that uh, CNC drill press yes. uh, because they can read the directions and they understand the technology behind uh, that type of effort. All right, and um, uh, so this is, this is good, motivating. Motivate students from high school. And it has to start at the, possibly the sophomore and junior level, because by the time they're seniors, uh, in my opinion, it's too late. As I remember from high school, but then again, that's back when you know, high schools were, you know, we just came out of the caves. But you know, uh, in, in my high school, we generally had s several tracks. Is that true in today's high school? You have college prep track, right? It, 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 oh, you're college prep, you're gonna go over here. And there seems to be a caste system in the high schools. Is that right? <coughs> It, 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 if I'm remembering that, you guys recall, I'm looking at you because you're the closest to it, right? You know, like your honors system, you know, mm -hmm. you're going for an honors degree, you're going for a core 40 degree, mm -hmm. and then it goes, spreads down by that, and then even, like, at Portage High School, they would split you up into, like, if you said you wanted to go into nursing, they would mm -hmm. put you into classes that pushed you that way, and they would you know, try and set your future, for your, or your focus for your future, and then, but I mean, we all, you know, I set it, focus then and I've changed majors three times in college sure. already. So it's gonna change. But they try and do it that way, but there is a cast system to where, oh, you're not as smart as Joe here, so right. you're gonna take mm -hmm. bonehead math and you can go take algebra. So there is a there is a cast system in high school. Yeah. So you're also combating that mm -hmm. as well. When you say motivate the students, okay. When in when I was in high school, if you took shop, right, you were kind of like on the low rung. If you took carpentry, that was, oh, if you took typing as a man, as a male, that was, you were ostracized. I took all three. I wish I did. <laughs> yeah. You know, typing to this day, I wish I took typing I in high school took. because I, I hunt and pack all the time. Never My never productivity would, would jump tenfold if I, if I learned how to type, you know, properly. Uh, I did take shop class. I did metal work and, 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 uh, and carpentry work as well. But right now, students are steered away from that. They're saying, oh, well, don't you want to be caught? It's not. It's not sexy, is it? Okay, I'm being recorded, but it's not. You know, because it's. Uh, it's, it's not college. It's not college. You know, it seems like the goal is college, but we know that 75% of high school graduates don't even go into college. Uh, so what happens to them? You said they might work at McDonald's, which is not a bad thing. That's how I started, so it's okay. Uh, but you learn how to work. You learn how to work. I think these entry level jobs are vital. Uh, for young people coming out of uh, out of the high schools, especially, they should have a job. Uh, what we are seeing around the country, not necessarily too much in this area, but we're seeing a little bit. But I, I've done a little research around the country. We are seeing fewer and fewer high school graduates or even high school seniors with a job. We're seeing that fewer and fewer are even seeking a job. They're being supported at home. Uh, and uh, what's happening is that they're missing, in my opinion, they're missing a vital step in becoming productive uh, employees, learning how to show up to work on time, learning how to, uh, how, to, how to take orders, how to read directions, how to go beyond the first step. Uh, I have this thing, uh, this, uh, this little uh, scenario I run through and I, I talk about hiring teenagers because I've hired teenagers and uh, teenagers tend to do exactly what they're told but not anymore. Right? You tell them, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about then, right? You say, oh, there's a mess over there. Expecting them to go clean up the mess, right? It's like, oh, what? And uh, I say, okay, well, you know, go get a broom and a dustpan and, and uh, sweep it up. Where's the broom? Where's the dog? I can't find it. It's in the closet right next to you. You know, you, have to, you see what I'm getting at? You get it that all the time. Uh, but that's where they learn that. You know, they learn 